Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Grace. Here on my channel you'll find all things beauty, mom life, and of course lifestyle. If this is your first time stopping by, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join our family here on the YT. Also go ahead and follow me on Instagram where we get a little bit closer and I share a bunch more details and I interact with you guys a lot more. As you guys can tell by the title, I am going to be sharing with you guys some tips to make life much easier, more productive, and to help you guys get things done in 2020. So if you guys are interested, keep on watching. I'm telling you guys, since I've been incorporating these tips into my life, I have been more productive, more energized, happier, just overall like positivity and things just good things in general have been going on in my life. If something is working for me, I definitely want to share with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and share with you some of these tips. So tip number one is to wake up early. I know if you're a mom, especially if you have more than one child, this can sometimes be difficult. I struggle with this as well and I struggled with it, especially in the beginning with waking up early. I'm not gonna lie, I don't wake up early every single day, but most days I do wake up early at least an hour earlier than my child does just because it allows me to get things done if you wake up earlier especially if you're a mom or even if you're not a mom waking up early is going to be so beneficial to you because you could get so many things done for example the days that i wake up early i get to put on my makeup sooner i get to film a video if i wake up early enough i'm just able to get more things done when i wake up early also i eliminate the having to rush i'm the type of person like i can't stand rushing i try to plan Plan my schedule around the time I want to leave the house or certain things so I try to eliminate like the whole rushing factor and to eliminate that most days I have to wake up early so let me tell you if you wake up early just try it for like three days wake up early maybe an hour or two earlier than you usually do and you'll see how much you're able to accomplish when you wake up early number two write things down this is so important there are studies that show when you write things down, you're more likely to accomplish them and you're more likely to remember them. I always take the time to write things down. When I don't write things down, one of two things happens when I don't write things down. One, I'm going to forget it. Or two, I'm going to constantly be thinking about it so I don't forget it. And that's just bothersome. Like, constantly thinking about something so you don't forget it, that is bothersome. So just write it down. Write it down in your phone, write it down on a notepad, write it down in your planner. I even have a notepad next to my bed because sometimes when I'm getting ready to sleep, I'm not the best sleeper, so I like to think a lot before I go to bed. So I have a notepad by my bedside, so if I remember, oh yeah, we need onions, I'll write it down. Or, oh, this is a good video idea. I'll write it down so that way I'm not constantly thinking about it. Number three, this is something that I have incorporated and I talked about it over on my Instagram. Be sure to follow me over on Instagram if you haven't done so already. It is about meditation and prayer. Prayer is something I've always done. My father's a pastor, grew up in a very Christian household, so prayer has always been a big part of my life. But I've added meditation. It is so good. I really, really enjoy doing meditation. If you guys are new here, I am a stay-at-home mom. However, I do have my master's in social work, so I am a mental health professional. And when I was doing my master's, we would have little breaks where we did mindfulness, another type of meditation. It's kind of just called something different, where we just sat for about five minutes, especially down during times we had exams or like when we were high stress, we had high stress levels. My professor would always say, all right, we're going to do some mindfulness. And at the time, I really didn't see the worth of it, but now that I'm older and I just have a lot more going on in my life, mindfulness meditation is just so great for me. I say definitely give it a try. I'm the type of person who kind of doubts my potential. Sometimes I'm a pessimist, which I've definitely turned around a lot. So what I like to do is just sit 
on my bed when I wake up in the morning. I have to sit up because if I lay down, there's a chance I'll fall back asleep. I sit up on the edge of my bed and I just sit there with my eyes closed. I don't do anything like super fancy. Sit there with my eyes closed and I just fill myself with positive thoughts. You know, different things that can motivate me and encourage me throughout the day. I've also started doing something a little similar with my daughter. Uh, again, if you're following me on Instagram, you would have seen. I take her to the mirror every morning before she goes to school and I just fill her with positive words and she she knows it already she knows our little saying that we do in the morning and she'll go there by herself and she'll wait for me and we'll do it together but back to the meditation it has really helped me to just have a positive outlook on my day I have struggled with depression in the past I'm not going to like hide that or you know it's so sad that in 2020 that mental health is still like a big thing like people don't want to like you know people try to keep it on the hush hush but I have suffered from depression I've never went to therapy I've never taken medicine for it but I know the signs and I know I have suffered from it and doing meditation is has just helped me a lot especially for the days when I'm not really feeling that great emotionally just having that time to meditate is has been so helpful also I take the time to pray like I said Prayer has been a big part of my life since day one. So while I'm doing the meditation, once I'm done meditating, then I will thank God for the day. Thank God for allowing me to open my eyes and see another day. Thank God for my family, different things. And it just helps me to have a positive, um, a more productive day. Number four, this has to do with more of your internal health. And in the morning, I like to drink a cup of warm lemon water. Now, I'm not big on warm water. I love to drink cold water. But when you are sleeping, your body is at rest. So then when you wake up in the morning to get your digestive system, and everything moving again because they were at rest as well I like to have just a little bit of a lemon of water um, sometimes if I don't have fresh lemon in the house I have these lemon packets that I absolutely love I use those lemon packets with cold water as well but sometimes if I don't have fresh lemons I will use that and it is still fresh lemons it's just crystallized fresh lemons if that makes sense I will go ahead and leave the link to where I got those crystallized lemon packets down in the description box. I carry them everywhere. I love it in the summertime when I like to drink a lot of cold lemon water. However, in the morning, drinking just some warm lemon water helps to get your digestive system moving as well as it helps to detox the body. Number five, and this is going to be a big thing for me this year, especially being a mom, I notice a lot of the time I don't do self-care. Things that I used to do for myself, definitely don't do it anymore. Things that I enjoyed, don't really do that anymore. And I told myself this year I'm going to be doing a lot more self-care. And self-care is so important because how are we, especially as moms and women, are supposed to feed into other people's lives, take care of our families, take care of our husband, take care of our children when we're not taking care of ourselves. So this year, I've told myself self-care is going to be a priority if i'm tired and there's laundry that still needs to be folded dishes that need to be washed to be honest that could wait i need to rest because guess what's gonna happen if i get sick or if i start to not feel well it's not gonna get done any other way or somebody else will just have to do it so why not just take that extra 30 minutes to an hour to rest and then do what I have to do. So self-care is going to be very important for me this year. And I'm telling you, once you start to incorporate self-care into your very busy schedules, whether you're a stay-at-home mom or a working mom, you're going to see how that is going to improve your physical health and your mental health. And number six, of course, I couldn't not include something like this in this video. It is about looking good. I'm going to go ahead and link my tips for looking put together and polished quickly and easily. I'm going to go ahead and link that video up in the card section and down in the description box for you guys to check out. In that video, I share different tips on how to look put together and to look good really quickly, especially if you're a busy mom. If you're just busy in general, I share tips to look put together really quickly. And I say when you look good, you feel good. I'm not saying you have to slab on a whole bunch of makeup. Just put yourself together, wear something cute, do something simple and nice to your hair that 
makes you feel good because let's be honest when we look good we feel good all right guys so that is the end of this video I really hope it helped somebody out there I'm telling you go ahead and give these things a try comment down below what are some of the things that you guys already do in your life that just helps it to go way smoother that increases your productivity all of that good stuff thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button to join our family here on the YT I would definitely love to have you guys follow me on Instagram if you haven't already done so and I will see you guys in my next video bye